Hello beautiful Geminis. Welcome back to the channel Gemini. Thank you for joining me here everyone. Gemini, I hope you're doing well. Let's see what the universe has for the beautiful Geminis. Please and thank you. Gemini, thank you for your generosity to me by liking and commenting and subscribing. I do appreciate it. Gemini. Oh. You have the power to make yourself better. It is always okay to ask for guidance when the way is unclear. A spirit is reaching out, giving you a spiritual hug. The best version of yourself. It says to be the best version of yourself and start today. The universe is reaching out, giving you a big spiritual hug. Being told to wake up the world, Gemini. Gemini. So you may be finding, like, if something seems unclear to you, just like asking. It's okay to ask for guidance. Maybe there's something that confidence is your key to success, or maybe someone else is wanting to ask for guidance. It's being, you're being told to, to step into your north node, get out of your comfort zone. Emotions are running high. It's always some kind of saying nothing is set in stone. Someone's not sure somebody might be asking for guidance to like how to step into their north node someone could be going through a lot of adversity like intense emotions this is regret someone saying i know i cannot change the past a loneliness i know i'm never alone but Someone is in denial about something. I acknowledge my fear, but I can replace it with the insight of awareness. So someone's looking for guidance, Gemini, how to step into their North Node, looking for guidance of how... Um, how to find their purpose. So what is the advice? Well, the advice is you need to get out of your comfort zone, give up, you know, what is comfortable to you. Somebody be, might be looking to an empress for guidance. They may be asking for direction. Wanting the truth somehow. This is someone who wants to awaken, but isn't sure how to do it. Well, they got to give, get out of their comfort zone. This person is stale and stagnant with some kind of love situation that they got themselves into. They took a leap of faith with another lover, but it's like they're stuck. They're in a rut or they're in a comfort zone. Getting comfortable, you know... You gotta be willing to take risks. 
and you got to be genuine and you got to be patient and you got to be balanced and someone is stressing out here someone could be looking wanting to know there's regrets here Maybe they're in a situation with a third party because it's comfortable. Somebody may not want to give up comfortability. But yet, they're stressed out. Yet, Maybe they push somebody away, you know, for comfortability. And maybe there is regrets for doing this. Could be that they didn't want to give up something that was familiar or don't want to give up something that they have become accustomed to. It's like... It's like this person doesn't want to give anything up. They're in their comfort zone. You know, their comfortable little zone that they live in. I call it a bubble. You know what I mean? They want to find their, their purpose. They are searching for their purpose, but they don't want to give up the comfortability of where they're at to find it. They're in denial. This person is in their ego or something. It's like they're denying themselves of something. I, I don't know. They're seeking their purpose, and it's almost as if this emperor is in denial. I don't know what about. They ended a soulmate uh, situation for like seeking adventure you know what I mean seeking adventure wanting adventure and it's like 
they may have got themselves trapped in a situation they want forgiveness for betraying somebody They ghosted someone for an option. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, they cut, just cut somebody out for comfortability. You know what I mean? Cold, uncaring. This is, um, the High Priestess and the Hierophant together. Can't decide between the two. It's like, um, either they cannot decide between what faith they want to be. This could be religion versus spirituality. Someone can't decide or they're like, I don't know, maybe this person is like searching. Maybe they searched religion. Maybe they searching spirituality trying to make a decision you know of who who they want to be or maybe it's like trying to make a decision you know it's like they want to find their life purpose but they They're thinking like, I don't know if they got to give something up to do this. They hurt somebody who, who is very spiritual here. This person is in their purpose. This um, High Priestess Queen of Wands is in their purpose. They're fulfilling their mission. They're in their higher purpose. This is like someone who's like an earth angel. This is somebody who is the Empress who has found their purpose in life. And it's like their counterpart who left them didn't want to give uh, they didn't want to like it's about waking up the world the world has got to wake up spirits like the world has to wake up and it's someone's mission to wake up the world But their counterpart is too comfortable. It's like they have allowed the material world to cloud their mission of what they're here to do. They're here to wake up the world. This is a couple that has been sent uh, to be together to wake up the world but they ditched their partner to go find a third party because it was more comfortable so how can how can they find it you know they're 
They know what they're supposed to be doing. They do. They know there's what they they know they have a higher mission. They know but they're in denial about something. They may have been judging their true love for their spiritual purpose and now they're trying to find theirs. Or it's like someone just like Hmm. Oh, jeez. This is some kind of karmic justice here. They need to end a toxic relationship in order, you know, this person has a higher mission in life. They do. They have a higher mission. They may have had... <clears throat> They may have to end a karmic contract. In order to find their purpose. They know what they're here to do. Like. This person has been the light in the dark. They're here to wake up the world. It's like these karmic contracts will end. It's like to find one's purpose, there is no purpose really when you stay in a karmic relationship you will never find your your purpose you may be comfortable you may have financial um stability or material possessions but it's like are you sharing your message? Are you fulfilling your purpose? Because there's more meaning to life than um, being comfortable. So this person is not fulfilling their purpose. And It's about bringing people into insight and awareness. Someone is staying in an unhealthy marriage or an unhealthy situation because it's comfortable. It's safer, yet they're in regret. And they are lonely in that relationship because it's not their purpose. They're not fulfilling their purpose. They're not. They are resentful for being where they're at. They can say they're not, but they're resentful because their counterpart 
The Empress over here has fulfilled their purpose, their mission. They are carrying on their mission. And this person feels stuck in a relationship. Yeah, they're, they got the comforts, you know. They're comfortable, all right. Like they're, they have the comforts around them, but they're not happy. They're not because they're not fulfilling their purpose. You know, when people face the truth and, you know, it's the things we conquer, conquering our fears, conquering our demons. It's like being walking examples for others to follow. So how can other people follow this person when they themselves are unhealed or are staying in a situation where they're they're unhappy, they're codependent or how can you heal the world when you're codependent how can you heal the world when you're staying in a situation where you're really not happy but you stay because you're comfortable this person has a mission they have a counterpart. They were, they're not together, but this person has a purpose to fulfill upon this earth. And they are not going to ever find their purpose if they don't get out of their little bubble, their comfort zone, where they feel safe and comfortable because the more comfort that they have the more further away from their mission they seem to be like you know what i'm saying like how do i say it they want to know what their purpose is they want to know what their mission in life is well number one they have to be honest with themselves are they what are they in denial about? They have to be authentic. Whoever is asking the question, masculine or feminine, well, how do I find my purpose? How do I know what my purpose is? Well, quite often than not, you find your purpose by knowing what you don't want. It's the school of hard knocks. It's learning from experience. It's one experience after the other after the other. That's how you get to be empress. I, I don't care what anybody says. It comes with experience. It's like... Yeah, you can be born an emperor or an empress. But you still have to go through those experiences. You still have to live life and you have to go through and, you know, it goes in stages. And somebody is, how can you heal people and be a light to others in the world when you're hurting or when you're in regret or when you're in a karmic low vibrational energy um when you're not being honest with oneself it's a self journey it's not about like there's no book written on it how to get there it's being authentic with self everybody's journey is personal it's a personal journey plan. It's the school of learning. We're on this earth to learn. 
we're on this earth to be, um, to ascend so that we can be a light to others to follow. And somebody is following a path of destruction. Um, they are. Like, you can't ascend really when you're with, surrounded by the dark, by, you know, you ascend by learning those lessons. It's all about lessons and following your own inner voice and about learning to listen to yourself and be real with self and authentic with self. And you're not going to find your purpose unless you start being honest with yourself. And it's like doing the work, the shadow work, and looking at ourselves and seeing in ourselves what we need to heal about ourselves, fix about ourselves before we can heal or fix others. And it's self journey. And a lot of people think you just get this title of emperor or empress this is with time. It's like there might be rare cases where people are born an empress or an emperor or something like that. But most times it is earned. It's earning one's way up the ranks and learning lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson, after lesson to get there. But you cannot get there if you're not willing to address what needs to be seen, what needs to be recognized about oneself. It's self. It's not about who we're connected to, who we partner with, who we have a life with. It's about self. It's self. It's a journey for self. Everybody has a different destiny and everybody has a different purpose. And somebody's like, well, how do, I, how do I find mine? How do I find my purpose? Well, you find it, but you have to be authentic with self. You cannot help others and be a light to others if you are not authentic with self. It starts always the journey is with self. And if... Someone is in denial about something. Someone is in their comfort zone and they're being told to step out of their comfort zone. And it's that simple. It's not about hiding or being in denial. It's about exposing things about oneself that, quite honestly, the ego doesn't want to see. We all have one. <laughs> we do. But it's to be authentic, that's what you must do. You must look inside yourself. And if you are content, then be content. And if you are discontent, it's likely you have not found your purpose. It's like... I don't know, maybe they're looking 
outwardly looking for other people to help them to find their purpose or fulfill their purpose but it is a self journey no one else can can do that you can point people in the right direction but it's up to them to take the steps to do it that mirroring maybe somebody is like in a codependent situation like I said they're in a codependent situation and because it is comfortable there they're miserable they're unhappy they're depressed they're sad they're lonely but It's making someone realize that all these comforts aren't making them happy. All these things are not making them happy. Someone could have a fear of being alone. They stay in a situation because they don't want to be alone. Or finances. Or something. It's like being together for the sake of being together. It's comfortable. You don't have to change. You don't have to address anything about yourself. You don't have to look in the mirror. You can be in denial, but you will not find your purpose that way. It starts when you get real with self and someone's too afraid. Afraid of adversity you know they know they have a mission to fulfill but they're all at the same time afraid to fulfill it because it might they lack self-esteem they're in fear fear of what people would say about them well if I step into my purpose and I fulfill this part of me and take this road what will people say about me um people might call me you know a kook they might judge me they might condone condemn me they might i don't know how's it working so far it's like How's your, I would say to that person, well, how's your life been before this? Well, what could be worse? Why wouldn't you step into your purpose? It can't be worse than where you came from. People are going to judge one way or another. They're going to judge. They're going to judge whether you're rich, whether you're poor, they're going to judge if you are spiritual or religious. They're going to judge if you're this way or that way. Who cares? It's not their purpose you should be worrying about. You should be worrying about your own purpose. 
while you have the opportunity upon this earth. And the only way to find that purpose is to be honest with self. Someone is in denial. They don't want to look at the way they are. They don't want to address the way they are. They don't want to reflect upon what it is they need to heal about themselves. It's a self journey. It's not out there. It's not out there. It's within. It isn't out there. It's about being real with self. But someone is in denial of that. Fear of persecution, fear of judgment, fear of, well, what will people say? Who the hell cares? It's been my experience. Is it going to dirt on you either way? They're either going to love you or they're going to hate you. Same as it's been prior to that. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're going to judge either way. We all get judged. But as long as you're truthful to self and, uh, and real with self, somebody's like, how can I find my purpose? That's the question they're asking. How can I find my purpose? Your purpose usually finds you. <laughs> I don't know. It's different for everybody. But it is a calling. It always is a calling. You feel called to a certain... Um, just feel led. You're led to your purpose. But the angels cannot bring you there. You've got to take the steps. You've got to you've got to take the actions. But it's always it's like we're tested by spirit. So if there is something we need revealed about ourselves, then that is part of your purpose is being content with oneself and at peace with oneself, like being authentic with self, not about others. It's about being authentic <clears throat> with self, but somebody is in denial about their truth. And as long as someone is in denial about their truth, they cannot find their purpose unless they are willing to surrender and be willing to be taught by the universe step by step, you know, what they need to see in themselves. That's facing our shadows, facing our shadows, what needs healed, what needs addressed, what is it that I need to prepare for? What is it that I need to see about myself? It's not about other people. Because other people are not leaving this world with you. We're born into the world. And we go out of the world alone. We're truly never alone. But in physical sense... When we pass away, our spirit is rejoined with other souls and we are all connected in one way or another and we cannot go around the planet hurting one another and we cannot, we, we cannot, we've got to be honest with ourselves about our own happiness and what we feel led to do. And what we feel our calling is, it's different for everybody. But as long as you're being like a beacon for others, but how can you be 
a beacon for others when you can't be authentic with self. As somebody is asking that, I don't know if it's you, Gemini, or if it's someone around you, but they're like, well, how can I, how can I get there? And, but the, they want, it's like they want what the high priestesses have, or they want what the empresses have, or they want what the true upright emperors have. But they don't want to do the work to get there. They don't want to do the inner work that it requires. This is like lesson after lesson after lesson, test after test after test after. It's like study school. It is. It is. And learning, it isn't out there we need to be looking at. It isn't other people, other places, other things. It's our own journeys and listening to our inner selves. And if one is not being genuine with themselves in their situations or circumstances and are staying in situations that are very unhealthy for us, it will delay the purpose as to why what we're supposed to be doing. It just delays the progress. And hence, we might have to come back here in another lifetime and do it all over again. Do you know what I'm saying? Many souls have come back time after time after time to do exactly that. It depends how far along on the journey everyone is. Everyone is different. Old souls may be a lot more advanced because they may have been uh, here lifetime after lifetime learning these lessons and carrying on time, life after life. But someone wants what the high priestess or the empress has, but they are not willing to do the work. They want to stay in their comfort zone in denial, pretending that they don't need to learn any lessons, pretending that they don't need to be authentic with themselves, that somehow they can sneak around it and that they can get away with uh, what they're getting away with and then deny it. Like, wasn't me, wasn't me, it's not me. They're not even being real with themselves. And if someone can't be real with themselves, how are they going to be real with others? They're not going to be. And someone needs to get real with themselves. So, we all have a calling an inner calling. It's just something we're led to do. Some people have a calling of sharing their message with music. Others, it's writing. Others, it's doing what I do or healing works or, but you can't be a healer unless you've healed. You can't be authentic unless you are authentic. It's not about what's popular. It's not about what's trendy. It's not about what will bring me in financial abundance either. It's doing quite often what you love to do. And it's about being real with self. And this person here is not being real with self. And if they have not achieved that step, then they cannot be real with anyone. Take care.